Hey YouTube, Joy Boy here. So today I want to talk about how Luffy will save Big Mom. But before we get into the topic of this video, I do want to mention that I understand that the premise behind this this theory is going to be highly disagreeable. And if I'm completely honest, I've spent the last couple months not really giving you guys any specifics about my ideas regarding the potential that Big Mom is not going to be an enemy. This is, of course, my belief. However, being as controversial as it is, there are many people who highly disagree. And by bringing it up and talking about it in depth, I'm alienating quite a few of the people out there who are interested in my content. But at the same time, this is what I believe, and I think it would be absolutely ridiculous if I didn't talk about it because I was afraid. My channel is not a spoiler channel, it's a theory channel, and theories can be wrong. My beliefs, whether justified or not, whether plausible or not, can be wrong. It's just the name of the game. So it seems like there's several different outlooks as to the future of Whole Cake Island. Uh, this seems like there's many, just like me, who see a lot of potential with Big Mom actually not being the main enemy. But it seems like of these people, there are several, while being open to the idea, really have no idea as to how this could potentially happen. And I think even some people who highly disagree with the notion disagree mainly because they also do not see how it would be possible. And so guys, as you should know, I've been arguing this for a while, and my main argument, my main position that I've taken is that somehow Big Mom would need the help of the Straw Hats, and thereby the Straw Hats may save her. But my initial scenario is definitely wrong, because I originally thought that she would go into a rage sometime during Whole Cake Island, essentially uh, destroy the place, fight her own subordinates, and uh, because this rage is described as an illness, maybe Chopper and or Caesar or the Straw Hats in some way cure her. And in doing so, earn the gratitude of Big Mom's subordinates and Big Mom herself so that they are allowed to leave. And so this was all based on, of course, my belief that it would be impossible for Luffy and his crew to take Big Mom in a fair fight. Luffy required Nami's help just to take out Cracker, who is probably the third strongest sweet commander. And so there's two sweet commanders stronger than Cracker, we assume, as well as Big Mom, who should be stronger than everyone. So I believe that Oda needed to create a very inventive method in order for the Straw Hats to be able to escape and be able to overcome Big Mom. And so as the chapters have progressed, part of these ideas are right and part of them are wrong. Oda has definitely created a very unique situation in order to nerf Big Mom. By introducing the portrait of Mother Carmel, Oda has allowed for a Yonko tier fighter to lose the vast majority of what makes her so unbeatable. Of all the things that makes Big Mom so OP, the most powerful of all these abilities is the fact that uh, we're led to believe she literally cannot be damaged, aside from when this portrait is somehow destroyed. But now that the portrait has been destroyed, Oda literally introduced a cheat code for the strats to have the potential of inflicting damage upon her. That in any normal situation or normal battle, any opponent of Big Mom would not have and would have to deal with her at full power. But on top of this, not only did Oda allow for the potential of Big Mom to be defeated by introducing the portrait, he also completely nerfed her to the point to where she's completely defenseless and not even conscious of what's going on around her. Big Mom is the definition of a sitting duck right now. With it as it is right now, there are two very obvious uh, setups Oda has potentially placed in order to actually defeat her. First, it's possible that Caesar's uh, weapons may be able to make contact with her and thus poison her. And then keeping in mind, again, that her defenses are down, she's able to be damaged. At some point in time, many people speculate that the Timate Bako box may be opened. The explosion is said to be pretty extreme. And if Big Mom can take damage, she might actually be down for the count if the box opens. And if both of these end up affecting Big Mom in some way, she may be poisoned, damaged to the point to where she can't really defend herself and slowly just die. But many people, myself included, do not really believe in the possibility that Big Mom dies like this. As I said in my last discussion video... Not like this. Not like this. But you gotta be real with yourself. This possibility is definitely being set up by Oda. Whether it's set up to confuse us or if it's actually what's going to happen. For those of you who are arguing at the beginning of this arc that it would be absolutely impossible to defeat Big Mom, this has been proven entirely false. The possibility, as explained here, is readily apparent. But as I said in my last discussion video, this of course isn't the only thing that's possible to occur. It's possible that Big Mom is able to avoid the rockets in some way. Maybe she isn't affected by the rockets. 
Maybe she finds a way to heal herself. And this is still leading in the direction where Big Mom gets the 1v1 versus Luffy. This is honestly why it's incredibly difficult to speculate on the future of Whole Cake Island right now, because aside from there being actual, legit, real possibilities, and many of them, uh, each of these possibilities as well can be substantiated in one way or another. So you're kind of left with a web of reasonable speculations. But going back to Big Mom specifically, I still see a lot of potential that Big Mom is just not as bad as she's made out to be. There are just a number of very small little Easter eggs Oda has thrown into the Whole Cake Island arc in regards to Big Mom, which may suggest that she isn't the enemy we are being led to believe. The most obvious of these obviously being her dream, which is a generally positive thing, which I have said very recently I think must be debunked in order for Big Mom to truly be the antagonist, the main antagonist of Whole Cake Island, or a future antagonist in another arc. And so again, keeping in mind the web of possibilities, one line of thinking is that it's possible Big Mom may actually get defeated and may actually be killed. And so along this same train of thought, it seems also reasonable to uh, speculate that she doesn't die, but rather is saved by the Straw Hats. In a way that would allow for the Straw Hats to escape with all of their objectives being essentially allowed to escape because of what they did for Big Mom. But even after speculating this, many people will say, they'll say, Joy Boy, uh, why would Luffy and the Straw Hats actually do that? The Straw Hats and Big Mom are enemies. Big Mom has threatened their crew and their family. It just doesn't make sense, bro. If this were to be the case, Oda would have to do a lot of retconning. But I personally see a lot of possibilities, so let's talk about them. But I want you guys to keep in mind that this speculation is entirely based off the premise that Big Mom is essentially defeated first. She needs to be a situation where it's possible for her to be saved. And this is not a guarantee. And so let's go with idea number one, and this one is going to relate to Pudding's future role in Whole Cake Island. Pudding is clearly being redeemed currently. The best way to emphasize this, I believe, is to look at some lines Pudding said recently. Shocked, aren't you? Just makes you lose hope, doesn't it? Don't worry, you'll soon lose your life too. I've deceived countless people like this. And Sanji says, and were you yourself one of them, Pudding? Essentially implying that Pudding is deceiving herself about her true nature. And this is echoed by her indecision and her, her internal struggles she's having between following the orders that she is given and uh, doing what it is that she wants to do. And it's very clear that she does not want to shoot Sanji because Sanji does not see her as a monster as she views herself. But it actually goes further than this because Oda has for many chapters within Whole Cake Island been subtly setting up putting going against Big Mom. And she's definitely become tiresome of the control Big Mom has over her life. It's to the point that it seems like a very reasonable speculation that Pudding may leave Whole Cake Island at the conclusion of this arc. But guys, I really need to ask the question, do you really think Pudding hates Big Mom? Hates her to the point that she is willing to accept Big Mom's death? Or maybe even root for it? The answer here for me is definitely not. Pudding may seem irritated with Big Mom, a little upset over being controlled, every aspect of her life being controlled, to the point to where she may want to leave Whole Cake Island, but I get absolutely no impression that she does not respect highly Big Mom. I get no impression that Pudding isn't willing to forgive Big Mom despite her flaws. Unless Big Mom, as I've also speculated in a recent video, literally turns her family against her. So with this established, Pudding uh, potentially wanting to leave Whole Cake Island, but not really wanting her mother dead, if we go along the, the lines where I've essentially argued that it is entirely plausible that Big Mom may actually be defeated and be put in a situation where she might die, what would Pudding actually do? And I think, guys, she might cry. And why this may be important and or interesting is because Sanji would certainly never doubt a woman's tears. And so basically what I'm speculating here is, would this cause Sanji to fight for Big Mom? And another thing that I find really interesting about this whole situation is that, uh, you know, the Tamate Baka box might go off, Big Mom might be highly damaged, but characters sustain a lot of damage and they survive. The one thing which uh, drastically increases the potential that Big Mom dies is Caesar's poison rockets. But it just so happens that uh, them being poison, there's actually a person in Whole Cake Island currently who has the potential to nullify the effects of the rockets. And I mentioned this in my last video, and I'll say it again, Raju, Poison Pink Raju, has the ability to suck out poison. 
And so when I mentioned this and didn't explain it in my last video, I got several comments as I was expecting and I really didn't do any good just mentioning it offhand. So let's actually do it. And in what situation would it be viable for Raju to suck out the poison if Big Mom is potentially shot with these rockets? And the answer to that again goes back to Sanji. If Sanji ends up fighting because of Pudding's tears, fighting for Big Mom, then maybe Sanji asks Raju to save her. This potentially happening has been beautifully set up by Oda because this situation seems entirely plausible based on the relationship that Oda has created between Reiju and Sanji. Even after the last chapter, Oda has set it up more and he's also given Reiju the personality to uh, an outlook to not really care what happens to her. So Reiju is willing to sacrifice herself for the sake of attempting to help Sanji. No matter how asinine the idea actually is, and of course, doing this could potentially ruin their escape plan. And also would most definitely not be what either Capone nor the Vinsmoke would actually want to happen. So if Big Mom is down for the count, Reiju actually sucks the poison out of her and the strats then defend her. It could be a fight between Capone and the Vinsmoke and even maybe even the Underworld versus the Straw Hats and the remaining Big Mom pirates. And it's at this point that you may argue that the Big Mom Pirates would definitely win given that they're the strongest force present. But I think that they have been severely nerfed. Uh, several of their most prominent members have been knocked out over the course of the arc, as well as their fodder soldiers has been vastly reduced in numbers. And I also wanna throw this out here as well, but I see potential that if Big Mom is highly damaged uh, due to the Tamate Bako Box, it may be Chopper's role in the story to heal her physically after Reiju sucks out the poison. And after doing so, it's very, very possible that the strats may be forgiven and allowed to leave. But if you're absolutely dead set on Big Mom remaining a villain even after the conclusion of this arc, this is also entirely plausible because of Pudding and her abilities. She can actually alter Big Mom's memories so that perhaps she never even was aware that the strats visited her territory. But to take this further and going back to the idea that Big Mom may be a future ally, Pudding could potentially change Big Mom's memories so that these strats were never her enemy, never did anything to wrong her, and only just saved her, so that the strats leaving might seem less ridiculous to some out there. This sequence of events, honestly guys, is what I actually believe, in some form or another. But another thing that I want to talk about while talking about this is the potential that Big Mom is pregnant. If you haven't heard this and want to know why I am saying this, check out my video, Oda Reveals Huge Information About Big Mom. I'm honestly unsure if I want to believe this or not because certain elements of it seem very out of place within One Piece. But the fact is, is that Big Mom is almost continuously pregnant and she has had kids uh, fairly recently, so it's not out of the question to assume that Big Mom may actually be pregnant currently. And this would add up extremely well with her unexplained illness where she must have a particular kind of sweet, which could very well be explained as pregnancy cravings. And what's extremely interesting about this, and I learned this uh, in a comment under the same video by the user HyperActivator14, but essentially there's a a uh, phrase called pleading the belly, which was a common thing female pirates did to get out of executions in the real pirate world of the past. In fact, one of the famous pirates who did this, and Bonnie, uh, Oda used as an inspiration for the character Jewelry Bonnie. So all I'm saying here, guys, is that Oda definitely knows this little tidbit. Oda is a pirate history junkie, and it wouldn't be unprecedented for Oda to actually use it in the story of One Piece. And to put it simply, if this fact ends up being revealed at some point in Whole Cake Island that Big Mom is currently pregnant, it would be just another way to validate the strats fighting for and defending Big Mom if she is close to death. And this could actually be in addition to the previous idea or stand alone. And similarly to this, we also know that Big Mom dreams of creating a place that is free of racism, discrimination, and segregation. And so, uh, the reason that I'm bringing this up, it's, it's curious that uh, the majority of the Alliance have put in their invisible symphonia uh, and cannot hear what's going on. One exception to this is Luffy. And so at the end of the last chapter of One Piece, it's clear that we're heading into a Big Mom flashback, where essentially we will learn more about her past and the results of this, what we learn from here, would be uh, very important evidence towards potentially validating this, my ideas on Big Mom or not. But what's curious is that in the last chapter of One Piece, Big Mom has made it blatantly clear that she just wants to be listened to. Why is no one listening? 
And so the idea that I want to talk about is that while in her flashback, perhaps Big Mom actually speaks aloud some of the things that happened to her in the past, and potentially even validates out loud why she dreams of creating Totland. And if she does this, as I stated earlier, Luffy has yet to put in his earplugs and thus will hear her, thus potentially creating further reason why Luffy may fight for her. And lastly guys, I want to throw this out here as well, which is that Luffy does not kill his enemies. And so as the plan currently sits, the idea is to actually kill her and then run away. This is potentially the most un-Luffy-like plan ever. And straight up guys, I think that it's definitely possible Luffy might save her out of principle. Luffy cannot kick her ass if she dies here. That honestly feels like to me like a thought Luffy might have. But anyway guys, I feel like I need to repeat this over and over so that people do not forget. This is only assuming that Big Mom is put in a situation where she is essentially defeated and put near death. While Oda has clearly set up this possibility, it is obviously not a guarantee. If Big Mom doesn't get poisoned, this would obviously go against this particular idea. If the Tomate Bako box goes off and Big Mom is not highly damaged, then that would be the nail in the coffin. But it is what I believe, and hopefully what I've said here justifies its potential for those of you who may not have been previously on board. But yeah guys, that's all I really wanted to talk about today. Let me know what you think, let me know if you agree or disagree and why. Uh, share your thoughts, like the video if you like the video, dislike the video if you dislike the video, subscribe if you want to be notified for my future content, and as always guys, have a wonderful day.